the one becomes the many because being holistic, every time it sees itself, it, con it, it knows itself, this knowing itself generates an entity that is made of the energy that knows itself. In other words, you know, out of one comes an entity, which is a CU or, or monad, that has the same capacity of one. It's a self-reflection of one that creates something. And in fact, the principle of life is this principle, is this principle of generation, self-generation. That, that there is something that creates something that is like itself as a, as a foundation of reality, of all realities. So life, life is not a special case in you know, of what happened in this planet, but it is, it is a foundation aspect of one. Every time one knows itself for the first time, it creates a unit a, a unit of consciousness, a monad, the, the, the name doesn't matter, but it creates something that has the same capacity of itself to know itself and generate other selves like itself in order to continue this process. So, so it is, uh, you know, and, and the reason why it has to be a part whole, because one being holistic is not made of separable parts. So when he sees him, when he, he, he knows itself, he, he has to know it himself entirely. But in then knowing itself entirely, it creates a point of view about itself. If that point of view about itself was all that there was to it, well, then, if, then if one would have known itself and be done with it. But since one is more than that, it has to create other units of consciousness for, because after having seen himself in that way, he, can, he finds out that that doesn't exhaust who, it, who he is and so who it is. And so he has to create another one and so on and so forth, you see. <laughs> so so it, it, is, it, it is inherent in the holistic nature of one that we have to be parts of. 